the new story tells us that we are related to all the life that's ever lived. All of us descended from the same single-celled beings. So in some very real sense, we are all cell brothers and cell <laughs> sisters. Can you dig it? And the story of evolution is everybody's biography. But I don't think we really get it yet. The story's too new to have had a chance to seep into the corridors of our psyche. We haven't mined the spiritual gold in this story, what it tells us about ourselves. I think we need ceremonies and celebrations and uh, rituals. We have to sing and dance evolution. We have to learn how to embody it. I suggest we start by chanting the table of basic elements. <laughs> Hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon. It's got mantra quality, doesn't it, with the M's and the ons? When we do breath practice, when we bring our attention to the breath, we can do an occasional reflection that with every breath I am exchanging nutrients with the plant kingdom. With every breath I am a cell in the great breathing of the planet, of Gaia. We can feel the fact that we are earthlings already. Just take your hand and touch your knee or your knuckle or rub your upper and lower teeth together a little bit. Feel the hardness of the bone. Bones are made of calcium, phosphates, silicates, carbon, essentially the clay of earth, mysteriously shaped into this skeletal, skeletal being. Most of our body's liquid, and most of that liquid has the chemical consistency of the oceans. We sweat and cry seawater. We're not on the earth, we're of the earth. We're like earth sprouts that gained a lot of mobility. <laughs> and we're, we're powered by the sun. You can feel that easy. Just feel the heat of your body. That's the heat of the sun through these complex and rather miraculous processes transformed into your living energy. We have the sun inside of us. And we're built out of all the life that came before us. Richard Dawkins says, if you had a picture of your great-grandfather 150 million great-grandfathers ago, and everybody's got one. You would have a picture of a fish. Some of your ancestors were scaly. <laughs> Lived under, they could breathe underwater. 